Happy Friday. I will be helping out Dataverse me on Friday with little short personal tips from my own Dataverse world. Today, I wanna to share a tool with you that I use for sketching out tables. It's called Lucid. I just recently discovered it and I kind of fell in love with the simplicity of how it works. So I'll put in the description how you can get this tool and try it out yourself. This is not a Microsoft recommendation. This is just Audrey's personal tip to you as to how uh, I create entity relationship diagrams. You might wanna share with us in the comments or in your own video, what you use to sketch out your tables. Because the important thing here is being able to sketch tables before you start trying to make them in Power Apps. You need to sketch them, plan your relationships, get feedback from uh, stakeholders involved in your solution before you start creating the tables. This way, you won't be doing a lot of trial and error, okay? So I am in the templates area of Lucid and I'm in the popular section where there is an enterprise ER diagram and often called the ERD, the Entity Relationship Diagram, okay? And it is, you know, a very uh, technical way in this case of saying, let me sketch out my tables for Dataverse in advance so I know what I'm doing and let me decide not only what tables I need, but what relationships there are between these tables and what I'm going to do. Now, you know, and those of you that don't know, that's okay. There is a common data model built into Dataverse. So in many cases, you don't even have to create a table because there's one you can use, like the account table, right? But I'm gonna sketch it out end to end because to show you how easy it is, all right? So I'm gonna click on use template and it's going to kind of build me a sample ERD or entity relationship diagram. And when it opens, I really love how easy this tool is to learn. You get all of this help here on the right that I truly love. Um, I was able to learn the tool from beginning to today in like 30 minutes, you know, it's really easy. There's lots of tutorials and you can use this, this area over here to learn more before you get started. So if you're the kind of person that reads before you, you do something, this would be what you'd wanna look at. If you're not, go ahead and jump in. Based on my demo, you might be able to do that, right? So I don't need this because it is an object on my screen. So I'm just gonna delete it. Um, you didn't have to, but because it's not on the surface that will print, but I, I wanted to keep it. I wanted to get rid of it, get it out of the way. Notice that on the corner of these pages, I also have tools for sizing this in the way that I want, okay? So I can make it taller and so forth. So you see that I can adjust the, the site. Now it gives me a title by default, by the way, but I'm not going to do a title today. Um, but you know, you everybody knows what a title is for. What's important are these three blocks, each block representing one of the tables or entities. And I'm going to sketch out the field names that are going to be used in my solution and their types. Okay. And I'm actually going to do this from scratch, even though I could just edit that. Okay. I'm going to do it from scratch to show you how easy it is. So over here, there's these little block templates that you can just take and drag. And I'm going to take the one that says entity field and type and put it right here. And I have, if you go to your view menu, you have the option to show grid and snap to grid. So I have those on just to help me lay things out. Um, I'm going to add three of these tables. Okay. And then I'm going to put the names in it. And again, we, we do realize that we have a CDM and, and the wonderful thing about the CDM is you don't have to do as much as you normally would have to do because the CDM already has some tables in there that you can use. Um, so I'm going to have three tables in my, and let's see, maybe I should zoom in a little bit here. So let me make these a lot closer. Oh, sorry, I'm looking for my, 
for and what I was just doing right there is looking for the um, so if I have it selected uh, and I want to move the whole thing I need to look for these for this crosshair this this I guess it's a cross with four arrows that means move the whole thing all right and I'm gonna zoom in tight here so that you can see what I'm doing okay so I have customer order product, all right? So what's the primary key for each one? I'm just gonna pop those in here. These are the, the GUIDs or the primary keys. Um, and basically they are, they are unique. They, they do not repeat ever. Um, and so they're kind of like each table has its own thing. Now, as I go into the customer ID, you realize again, that we are dealing with CDM, we are do dealing with Dataverse, so we don't need to create this customer table. We'll just reuse the account table. Um, but in this sketch, I do want to put, uh, I want to put placeholders of what I'm going to use in my solution, because maybe my solution is going to use, notice I can just easily insert row below, address, Street uh, two. So I'm naming them slightly different than what they are in CDM. Um, and you see how easy it is for me to like make a column wider or shorter, really easy. I'm going to insert row below and let's put the city. And I think in uh, Power Apps, if I remember correctly, it's address one colon street one address one colon street two and those different addresses just make sure that they're all together so the, the address one is the primary and then there's address two and you can keep going and so forth but make sure you're always using address one for the same street one street two and then i'm going to do address state um and let's add one more country right so maybe this is all we're going to use uh for for from the account table right so i've kind of mapped that out uh, and then the type is just what kind of field is this and i believe in cdm these are all simple text fields i think there is a choice for address type but we don't need this in this solution we're just going to run through this as text Okay, so now we've got our customer, which is really our, actually, this is our, um, it's an our, our account table. So we can choose to um, rename it if we want to, but that, that's exactly what this is. So, and these are all address ones in the account table. All right, so that's customer. Actually, this was, after you do this, like any way you want to do it, just keep, save this shape and keep it because you'll use it a lot probably. Today, it'll be customer. Tomorrow, it'll be partner. The next day, it'll be vendor. But it might be, it might be lots of things. All right. And then over here, we want to have the order that the, that the customer is making. So we have the order ID. We also want the customer ID so we know which customer uh, ordered this right and again we can just grab this to pull this over and then we're going to do the product ID which is what it what's the skew of what we ordered um, and then I'm going to insert row below and this is the quantity and this is going to be a number and then insert row below and this is price okay we're not talk about we're not going to talk about calculations and stuff like that today. We're just talking about sketching the tables. All right. Now over here, we of course we have a product name, and I I need to put those fields in there, right? No, that's right. Okay. And then category, and maybe we have several categories of products, and then we're going to do a quant stock all right and that's my quality quantity in stock and it's going to have a number here okay and maybe there's a there's a, a workflow 
that reduces that number every time it's bought or increases it every time we order new or build new, all right? So now we've got our three tables. Awesome, that was super easy. Now we're gonna make the relationships. So if you click, if you hover over each table, you'll see these little red, these little dots, right? If I want one customer to many orders, I drag from where the one is to the many. And if I want many products in each order, I'm gonna do the same thing. Again, get that red dot. Make sure you select that red dot and drag over to product. So basically, very easily, I've got a one to many. One customer can have many orders and one order can have many products, right? And if you need some help understanding these symbols, just do a quick Google search for ERD cardinality or Bing search, <laughs> either one. Look for ERD cardinality and you'll find a whole lot of information on these symbols. But uh, these are the ones you're using in this diagram. Um, it's great to understand what these mean. And of course, a couple of prerequisites that I had was um, to sketch out the solution. In other words, what's my persona that I'm, what use case, and what am I trying to do for my persona use case? What are my desired business outcomes? It is from the requirements of the solution that I can sketch a table. So we might talk about that another Friday, but I just wanted you to see this. Now, quick and easy, you can just temporarily turn off your grid and do a Windows Shift S to take a snapshot of this and then drop it in PowerPoint. You know, that's kind of what you can do. You can also use this diagram in a customer conversation where you're talking and then you're actually filling in the table as you go. Uh, this can be part of a, 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 a discovery conversation or it has all these export capabilities. So. I want to show you that those of you that use other database types, you can export it out to ERD data directly for whichever database you're using. Okay. But here's what I do. I do export and I change it to a PNG. Now I can make it a PNG, a PNG with transparent background. All of this works very well for me because usually I'm dropping them into PowerPoint. Now, if I don't want to export it, I can also publish it and share the document. Your sharing capabilities will increase as you remove the trial limitation. But I think this is super easy and I can put together uh, table sketches in like just a few minutes because this would have taken me three minutes if I wasn't talking to you and I wanted to share with you today. So maybe give it a try and see if you like it too or let me know what you use to sketch your tables in the in the comments below. I look forward to hearing from you and make sure you check out Dataverse Me who's sharing daily content about Dataverse. Enjoy your weekend and I'll be talking to you next Friday.